Hey Divas and Dons, I am back. <laughs> I am back with another video guys. Yes. Hey guys, good morning. It's morning here. What's the time? Um Alexa, what's the time? The time is 9.33 a.m. 9.33 a.m. Monday morning. How are you? How are you? First of all, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Me appreciate it. Thank you so much. Even when you're not watching all the time, I wish you would watch though and thumbs up. Guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please go subscribe. Thumbs up this video and thumbs up all the videos what you watch, right? But I just want to say thank you guys um, for subscribing and sticking around with the channel. Things are going to get better, I promise you. As I've said before, it's just the juggling between... Um, I haven't got my mic on, hold on. And excuse the background, I've been doing washing. So I've got washing drying there, I've got washing to um clean washing to sort out over there excuse the background <laughs> i forgot to put the mics oh. let's get the mic sorted out yeah because it's better even if i move around i can have the mic on but until then yeah it's just a bit difficult when you're juggling it and you're working as well, guys, if you get tired. I just get tired. When am I going to fit it in? But I promise you, I've got plans, outdoor vlogging, things I want to do. And um, come with some nice content. It's going to happen, okay? Just stick with me. It's going to happen. <laughs> very soon hopefully i think the, um the volume should have changed a little bit there let me put this on volume should have changed slightly one minute i'm just logging into my laptop so thank you thank you so much subscribers viewers um, I've been doing a live, guys, every Sunday, 7 o'clock, God willing. Sometimes it might be a bit later, but because I started it at 5 o'clock, now it's 7 o'clock. This is the Let's Chat. We're having a Let's Chat on Monday morning, yes. And, um, yeah, I've been doing a live every Sunday. I did start them saying 5 o'clock. It's now 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock suits me better because by then I've done what I've got to do for Sunday. And, um, you know, if it's any later, I'll let you know. But joining the live, guys, every Sunday, 7 p.m. UK time. Come on the live. Talk on the live. I've also got a phone number. You can log it now where you can call in on the live. It's 07368-866-103. And if you're international, because I'm in UK, you will do plus 447368-866-103, right? So the first number you keep on the zero if you're in UK. And the second number is if you're international with the plus four four. That's every Sunday I'm going to do them. Even if it's me one sitting there chatting to myself, I'm going to do them. So come and join the live. Give me some topics in this video. Please comment below some topics we can talk about. And um, it was interesting. The last live, one of my friends said, um, can we talk about something more fun next week? So next, this Sunday coming, we're going to be talking spice up your life. What can you do to spice up your life? You and your partner, you and your husband, spice up things. You know, 
on a daily basis routine in the bedroom what can we do to spice up our life i keep looking at myself <laughs> But I, um, other topics welcome in this video. If you please leave a comment below, guys. Please leave a comment below. Um, what topics can we talk about on the live? What a light-hearted. We can have sad topics. It depends. Whatever. Anything. Put it down there. And um, I'll see what you put in the comments. Please react to what I'm asking you. Comment below. <laughs> with a topic for the lives on sunday we're going to be doing lives yeah mature adult lives yeah yeah not for kids okay so anyway today guys i just thought i'd come and chat because i haven't done a video for a long time and that's not good so i said let me vlog today it's monday morning i'm not working today but i have two appointments i'm going if you look in my previous videos i did vlog about me having an operation on my foot i can leave a link of those videos below you can go back and watch them so like it's three months since i've seen the surgeon at the hospital so this is my three month checkup they'll probably x-ray my foot and then talk to me whatever is it all right? Is it not? It feels all right to me. So, yeah. And then after that, I'm going to go and take a blood test at another hospital. So I'm going to Guy's first. And on the way home, I can jump off the bus and go into King's. And I'm going to take a blood test because I've been feeling a bit tired. I'm due a blood test. I had one about a year ago. So every year it's good to have blood tests, guys. So... Uh, they're gonna check me for thyroid stuff like that and you know i've lost some weight it's good that i've lost some weight but i've lost my appetite a little bit so it's maybe not such a healthy way to have lost some weight but just gonna have a checkup blood tests guys if you know about me i worked on ships this is when I found out about bed bugs. I've learned all about bed bugs. We've had bed bug training. It's a serious thing on ship because people bring these things. And if you get an infestation. So a few days ago, I did notice on the news, they mentioned bed bugs. I'm going to put on my makeup while I'm talking. They said the tube is infested with bed bugs. There's two squirrels outside chasing each other, running around, jumping around. They look so cute until they're in my plant pot digging or in my grass. They're not cute. Then. But anyways, the underground got bed bugs. They're saying especially the, 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 the train from France because France is covered in bed bugs. Let me tell you something. You don't want to get bed bugs in your house, guys. You don't want to get bed bugs. I know all about bed bugs. They taught us from babies to teenager to adult. Yeah. We had to check every single room on a ship in Royal Caribbean has to be checked once a month for bed bugs and bed bug eggs. And it is, um, what do they call it? Documented, right? With dates. You can look back. If later you went and found a bed bug infestation, you can go back and see when was the last time the room was checked and all of that. And hellfire. If you've got an infestation, what takes a, f a few weeks, it tells you the stages when a bed bug grows. To get an infestation, they've been there long. The worst thing about bed bugs, when you find them, you have to spray all kind of chemical. Everything's got to be stripped out. When you find an infestation, down to your light switch, you have to take that off. Wall lights, pull them out. Because bed bugs go in between the walls. Listen, in the olden days, they used to have to, um, 
But in their house down, if they had a big infestation, in the olden days when they had wood house, and build another wood house. I'm not lying. It's not, I'm not even lying. And bed bugs, they're hard to kill. Sometimes, or oh, when you spray it out, when you spray it out, it, it could be two months and that room, you find one bed bug in a day again. I'm telling you, because they're behind the walls, they're in, F, they're in the crevices. They don't just live in your bed. They come and bite you in your bed because they normally bite you when you're sleeping in it and you're in bed and you're still lights off and it's dark that's when they bite you they draw your blood and then you'll wake up and you'll find the spots and most of the time you find three spots i can't remember why they said that is but they call it breakfast lunch and dinner when you find three spots breakfast lunch and dinner it's probably a bed bug if you wake up and you find one spot maybe you had a little spider around or three spots I would never want to discover bed bugs in my house. So if you didn't know, I worked on ships for 10 years. So I traveled a lot. And so traveled a lot to the ship. So when you're going ship, you travel to the country, you're catching the ship, but you stay overnight in a hotel and then you get on the ship the next day. They send... Motion detected at the front door. They send buses for you and you get on the ship the next day, right? But you see that hotel in between, there was a thing what we learned as crew members, we never unpack our clothes in the hotel. I know, I worked in housekeeping, so I know how to check a bed for bed bugs. How to check a room, it's not just the bed, you have to check behind the curtain. That's why, guys, if you see, I have got a metal bed frame. I don't, I purposely did not get a bed frame that's got all, excuse my bed, I'm washing some of the bed clothes. I purposely chose a metal bed frame like that. I thought about it because I do like them bed frames, the big ones and the material and leverette and different colors and what, what. But bed bugs came in my head, I swear. Bed bugs came in my head and I said, no. And I got this because they won't live on metal. I don't want no bed bugs living in my bed. Ed. I've got curtains though. You have to check them things, you know. So I heard it again this morning on the news. They're talking about it even more, Dr. Hillary, because people want to know if bed bugs is life threatening. He said no, but I don't know what if they suck on someone's blood who's got some kind of disease and then they come and suck your blood. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, they suck your blood. And then you will you will know if you have bed bugs because the blood stain spots are left on your sheets. The blood stain spots as it goes away when it drunk fresh. They drip on your sheet, so it will drip on your mattress. Yeah. That's why I would never put them valance curtain thing around my bed and stuff like that. They live in stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So bed bug is on the underground. So I think that's a crisis, guys, because I'm going to put on my makeup while I chat. I think that, and this is how I put on my makeup, guys, Rago, yeah? Just to look a little bit more presentable. So don't judge me. Don't judge me. So I am telling you, right, from what I saw on the TV, yeah, they got a crisis on their hand because some big infestation, you want to see all the eggs in the, in the crevice of the seat of the train. Oh, my God. I think it's the train from France. But Dr. Hillary did say, don't just talk about France. We've always had them. But I've never heard of bed bugs until I started working on ship, guys. And I worked 20 odd years in hotels in England before I even went to ship. 
and I didn't even, we never done bed bug checks in the hotel in England in them days. I never even heard of a bed bug before I went to ship. And I joined the ships in uh, 2010. Done 10 years up till COVID and then I left. I didn't go back. But, uh, this is how I do my face, guys. i tell you why. Because where God never blessed me in maybe other places, he blessed me with all right skin. My skin is not oily. If anything, it's more on the dry side, but it's not dry, dry. It's just cool. But you know you have your little dark areas. So I have them under here and my eyelids. So I like to tone it in and I do have a little dark area here. So, but I don't wear loads of makeup. And this is what I'm wearing, guys. Oops. True Match, right, by L'Oreal. And it really is True Match when it sinks in. What when it sinks in? I haven't put anything here. Watch. It really is True Match. And if you know from earlier videos, I love this one as well. Um, MUA, right, Pro Base, but, um, sorry guys, this is True Match number six by L'Oreal and I got it in Super Drugs, right, and, um, but this is beating this now, I do like this though, but this is beating this for the more exact match, when it's like, I would more wear this party, you know, you want your makeup to pop a bit more, but for every day, this, I'm definitely going to buy it again. If you're near my skin tone, this is number six, truffle. Number six, truffle. Yeah. Don't know if you can see. And that is L'Oreal True Match. Yeah. So that's what I'm using now. See how it's sinking? You can hardly kind of tell I've got anything on. Yeah, so they got an epidemic on the train from France. When you go hotel as a crew member, that's what I was saying. If you know your stuff as a crew member, and then for my concealer, LA Girl. If you know your, um, and this is LA Girl, what one do I use? Beautiful bronze, beautiful bronze. You know that when you stay in a hotel, you do not unpack and use the closet. You, we keep our suitcase in the bathroom because um, creepy crawlies don't do tile floors. They don't really do tiles and we keep our suitcase locked. We go in there, we um, use what we need. Those are my dark areas, guys, where I put my concealer. We use what we need, but we zip back the suitcase. We're not giving a bed bug time for going our luggage. You know where else has got bed bugs like rice? New York. New York has it like rice bed bugs. I have never seen bed bugs in any house I've lived in in England here. Never. And we never see it in none of my family's ass in Jamaica, neither. That's a horrible thing to have. And they're small, you know, they're tiny. But they're very, very hard. They're very, very hard to um, get rid of. Very, very hard. Yeah. Very, very hard. Like I said, in the old days, they would have to, if they had an infestation, they'd have to burn down the wood house and build another one. I think in Jamaica they call it chigger or chink. Chigger or chink, that's what they call them. Comment below, what is it called in Jamaica? Chigger or chink? Yeah, that don't look bad, is it, guys? That's how I do my makeup. And I don't put no more kind of... And actually, even when I'm going party, I might use the stronger um, foundation. But 
I don't put no more foundation stuff on my face. This is it. This is it. See it there? So I right, it just make my face look a bit fresh. So yeah, guys. So be very, very careful. And I would say, if there's bed bugs, they're probably on the bus. My God, I use the bus. The train, I use the train too. So be careful because obviously they're not checking for bed bugs. And let me tell you something: if they've got a fest, uh, infestation of bed bugs on the train, right? They would have to take the carriages, the whole seat, out of um, what do you call it? Out of production. They'd have to take them out, spray them, pull all the seats apart, all the everything, go behind where they have got all the posters on the train, the flyers. They'd have to take everything apart, and I'm telling you, I know. Once a year, once every contract, our contracts on ship are about, call it seven months, should be six and a half. But once every contract, the um, bed bug man, I call him, comes, the bed bug trainer man, he comes, and we have to have training in the big, big theatre on the big screen and they teach us about bed bugs and we have to sign for that training it's official training yeah so if i'm um in charge of a room and they find bed bug infestation what takes a while what I, what me and the stateroom attendant been doing somebody gonna have to answer for that yeah they're strict with it. So, yeah, guys, I thought that was interesting. I'm just chatting, guys, because I wanted to just come and make a video. I haven't done one, and i tell you what it is as well. Like, I've got nothing exciting going on. That's why I'm, I need to go out there and find content, and I just haven't been in the position to get started yet, going back to work and everything. So, that pencil, do you want to know? It's called Vital Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil. That's what I use, this dark brown. I don't have a particular eyebrow pencil, what I use. Um, when I need a pencil, I go in the shop, whatever they got in dark brown, I buy it. It doesn't matter the make, they all work fine. But I liked this one because it comes with... A lid with a little brush and this lid I'm gonna reuse it on another pencil I'll always keep the lid even when the pencils finished so it's nice your pencil your brush and I don't do all the make eyebrow drawing guys I don't know how to do it yeah so there and then I just want to show you I'm gonna use um, it's Ramel Stay Matte Concealer. Guys, I've got about another two of them brand new. And then I came across this one the other day. So I said, let me um, finish it off. So it's um, Ramel Stay Matte. I love this. Out of all the concealers, when I was on um, ships and the money was, yeah, I used everything I wore was MAC. Mac, 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 and nothing for Mac is under thirty dollars. Nothing for Mac is under thirty dollars US, right? So you know things are even more in the forties, fifties. So now I'm just in my regular smegular job with bills to pay. Me not buying Mac, that would be crazy. So these makeups, I I get my I order my Stay Mac off of Amazon, but they probably it's Rimmel, so they probably got it in the um, super drugs or any drugstore pharmacy place. Look at that, guys! 
Let me tell you something. You see, this is less than five pound on Amazon. Ramel Stay Matte. And I've been using it long. When I had to find a different concealer, a different matte powder. What is this? Powder, yeah? Matte powder. When I had to find a different one, this is what I stayed with i was gonna get i keep saying i'm gonna order the banana republic one i certainly am because everyone uses it but this is nice it doesn't have no yellow tint in it and they do have um this make with tints but i don't like tint i just like the transparent i just want to see my face i hate that yellow tint what i see on some of them i don't like it so this is how I do my face, guys. Look, just ordinary and a bit fresh to go to work. I think that looks all right. I'm done. I'm done. Just mascara. So, yeah, back to the bed bugs. <laughs> you got problems. We got problems if that's on London transport, guys. Let's put on a bit of mascara. The latest mascara I've been using is this Lash, Lash, Lash Sensation by Maybelline. Um, I like the brush. I like them brush what kind of curve and pull my lash because I've got, um, I've got, I've got lashes. So this really does comb. Just a reminder, we have test appointment. If you finish this, just let me know you're done with the reminder. Otherwise, I'll remind you in an hour. This is a reminder. Blood test appointment. If you finish this, just let me know you're done with the reminder. Otherwise, I'll remind you in an hour. Alexa, blood test appointment. I'm done with the reminder. <laughs> okay, I'll stop reminding you. Okay. So, guys. Yeah, the brush on this is good. I, I do like a thick brush as well. So when I'm going party, I like them thick brushes. Because if I use the thick, thick brush on my eyebrow, they look like fake lashes. On my eyelash, sorry. They look like fake lashes. I just comb the, comb the mascara through. And I think this is Maybelline, but I think this came in the box from my friend Chantel Ranger. Check her out. She does makeup. Excellent. Chantel Ranger. Check out her channel. She sent me a gift box of uh, makeup. And I think this is one that was in it. So I would actually go and buy this. It goes right through your lash. Like you're combing your hair. See? Yeah. That will do, innit? So anyway, yeah. Bed bug epidemic pump. Jesus. What a ting. What a ting. Where's my blusher? Hold up, guys. I think I left it outside. Hold up, guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, I've got loads of blusher, right? But... You know when you like a, oh, see a, a particular one, this is May, and that definitely came in the box what Chantel sent me, but I've got other blushes here. This is a blusher. This is blusher. Do you remember Fashion Fair, guys? That's blusher. But I did like this one when I tried it. 
just put a little there little you can barely see it but i can see it i know it's there it just gives you a little bit of life seeing i look dead you know uh, yeah that's it for my makeup guys i'm done i'm done all i'm gonna do now is run the straightness through this wig yeah i need to get a new couple of wigs i want a braided wig i want a braided wig I want a really nice one. I'm going to look on AliExpress. I want a new braided wig. And I think I want a nice wavy kind of wig. Middle part lace front. So I'm going to be looking for those very soon. I'm going to go on AliExpress. I'm going to go on AliExpress. Not sponsored by them or anything, but I'm going to go on them. And look for a wig very very soon guys two wigs two new ones i've got loads of wigs but i want two nice new fresh ones <sighs> sorry i'm just plugging in the straight now you know our time can catch up with you but it's only 10 o'clock now um my first appointment's at one o'clock it's about 30 minutes away on the bus so i'm gonna leave here at 12. i, I hate being late guys i'm always early i'm gonna leave here about 12. i've done shower and everything this morning already obviously putting on my makeup drinking my coffee i know what i'm gonna wear so i'm gonna get dressed in a minute and come back and say bye when i'm going all right so just came to chit chat and warn you about the bed bugs on london transport allegedly definitely they said the train from france to london i don't know if that's the channel tunnel or what i don't know i don't know guys so that's my face. I feel like I've forgotten to do so. Oh, I do um, spray it. That's my spray. And can you see, you know when people normally put on all that concealer powder, the matte, the powder, there's that whole heap of powder, then they have to go and get the, the, um, the big brush and brush away the powder. Did you see me do that? No, I didn't do that. When I use this and you just pat the powder, it honestly just sinks into your skin. What more powder do, than that do you want? It's really good. I recommend this. All right. I'll find the link and I will leave it below. I'm not sponsored by Amazon or nothing. That's another story. Amazon affiliates. Anybody can advise me on all of that. Hmm? Because I tried to deal with that and for some reason it didn't go through. And I've got eight clicks. They should have put me through. So I do spray my face, guys, and this is um, Revolution Fix Sport. It's the first time I used it. It's all right. It works. This one's soon done now. I think I brought this on when I first bought it. I brought it on video. This one's almost done. Will I order it again? Maybe. I might go back to my Maybelline one. I've got no reason. If I remember, I'm going to think about it from today. When I come in late, I have does my face look and see how good it really is. But it feels all right. Revolution um, Sports Fix, yeah? Um, um, lasting Hold Fixing Spray. Revolution. And they're a good brand. I like Revolution stuff. 
So guys, here what I'm gonna go and get dressed. I'm gonna get dressed. I don't think I'm gonna vlog on the way to the hospital. We've done all of that before. We could do it again. Let's see how I feel when I'm at the hospital, especially for the blood test. Let's see how I feel. Yeah. Oh God. I hate doing blood, guys. I hate doing blood. So, I just thought I'd come and talk about bed bugs. That's the epidemic. I'm going to close out now. I'm not sure if I'll come back. Let's see. I might show you them trying to take my blood because I hate that. I hate doing blood and um, that. But if not, have a good day. Have a good week. Stay safe. Stay good. Stay sweet. Like, share, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for everyone who's already here and stayed with me. I really appreciate it. You know, when you all had YouTube, it all been new at YouTube. When you're trying to find your feet, find your balance. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I, please don't think I'm not interested in YouTube. I love it. I love doing it. I'm just trying to find a balance and I have to work right now. I'm going to reach 100K where me can give up jobs. So I still got my nine to five and it's just a bit hard. So but i need to make the effort and i will guys i promise yeah so thanks for being here yeah so like share share it out and subscribe subscribe guys can i say the thumbs up is so important thumbs up videos anybody's videos that you watch on youtube thumbs them up that is how they make their coins with their thumbs up is definitely part of it, right? So thumbs up needed and subscribers. Yes, yes, yes. And what would you like to see? I'm here in London. What would you like to see? Tell me, is there anything you're interested in over here that you think I could go and vlog about? Let me know. Comment below. All right. So I'm blabbling. Have a good week. I'm going to go. This is already 37 minutes little bit of tweaking on the editing and hopefully i'll have this out today monday the 16th of october all right guys have a good day have a good week the diva is